Shalom. Um, this is GMS Dubai, um, the brother Pacha Allah from GMS London Camp. Um, like to say double honors unto the elders of GMS. All praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And um, Sally, uh, Shalom to you brothers out there that are sincere in this truth. Um, I'm with the brother Amaf Kwam also in the camp. And basically, we're going to get into this word. This is another word, so we're going to get into this word nice. Because a lot of people think they know, you think being nice is to be um, kind and, uh, well, kind to people. But that's not necessarily what it means. The word nice comes from um, two root words, well, two words. It can't go, the, the, end, the knee in it goes back to un, meaning not. And the nice... And the the, uh, the 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 rest of it goes to skier, which goes to science is a root word for science, and it means to know. So basically, the word nice means not to know. All right, that's the, hence why you people when we're out on the roads and you say, "Oh, you're not nice enough. You're not you're not gonna win the people over." You don't fucking understand that the most science dealing with no niceness, not to know. He's dealing with knowledge. And you don't know the Lord because the Lord says, when you say that in Isaiah 58 and 1, it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. So that's what the Lord's about. He ain't about um, trying to hand out daisies and get everyone down with his word. That's not what this is about. Yeah. And what you also don't know is Yahweh Shai and that he's coming quickly. Yeah, because the Lord ain't about bringing all the world together for world peace. He's about domination, setting up his his banner. His himself the most well basically Yahweh Shai, who you know as ignorantly as Jesus Christ, is the son of the Most High, and the Most High wants to set him up as a king over this earth. So I'm gonna read these scriptures to fucking let you know what's good. This is Luke 12 and 49. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? So the, the so Yahweh Shai is sent to send fire on the earth. He ain't sent to send no no fucking peace. The peace is gonna come afterwards. It's gonna come for the the children of Israel. But all you fucking heathens, you ain't got a part in this, man. You're gonna get rolled on. Now that's another one to make you understand what you don't know. Because of all your, because you want to be nice, yeah. This is Revelations two and twenty five, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Yeah. So he's gonna give them rulers. The elect are gonna receive rulership over the nations. That's the one hundred forty four thousand, the governing body of the nation of Israel. And he shall, verse 27, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Yeah, the word there for rod of iron is rabdas. And when you check that out on the blue layer, it says it indicates the harshest, the harshest form of rulership by a king. So basically, it's, it's a straight gully where heads are going to get bust. And that's, that's what it goes on to say. It says, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So the Lord's about about violence. It's called it's called righteous judgment. It, say, it says um in Revelation nineteen eleven, he doth judge in righteousness. So the judgment is is, is gonna be it's gonna be a violent judgment. This is one more scripture for you, yeah. Make you know and understand what the Lord's about. This is uh Revelations twenty two and seven. Behold I come quickly. Blesses he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And the sayings of this book, it tells you we're going to go through that. So you can you can understand. And the sayings of this book ain't no being nice not to know. Because the Lord hates. He hates reprobates. He hates disinformation. He hates people that don't know what the fuck's going down. Man. He's all about knowledge. Wisdom. Knowledge and understanding. That's what the Lord's about. Yeah. So you got to comprehend that. But if you don't. It also says in the same chapter that he that be fearful, fee, filthy, let him be fee, filthy still. 
And he that's righteous, let him be righteous still. So that's what that's where it is. Cool, cool. Alright, um now this is the thing. We don't understand the, the what the sayings in this book are. The primary indication right now we're gonna I'm gonna gear towards you what you don't understand is that there's signs in this book. Cause you're all busy being nice and prosperous. There's a signs that's written in Mark Mark thirteen, Matthew four twenty four, Luke twenty one, and they speak of the false Christ coming, which is already out there, Caesar, and they're gonna have they they got that project blue, blue beam, but they're gonna make that pantheos come to to life. Then there's the wars and rumors of wars, famine, disease, earthquake, signs in the heaven. All of those are fluctuating right now, man. So you know the Lord's on His way. But then you don't really know that these signs that will lead to martial law, concentration camps, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, and the NWO being established through that. That's what they're seeking for. But in doing so, that's when World, for, World War Three is going to pop up and Yahweh Shai is going to make his appearance. Yeah? But it's the thing. All you not knowing that, you you desire this. This is This is why you don't know this. Because we're out there telling you on the roadside every other day of the week, man. Out there Saturdays. And you've got brothers all over the world out there on a Saturday. And you're not you're not hearkening onto the word because you're wicked. Yeah, this is what you're asking for. This is Isaiah 30 and 10. With shade to the seer. See not. This is talking about you jakes out there. You niggas. And you dumb spicks. You say, with shade to the seer. See not. Because we are the seers. We see the fourth forthcoming destruction the most has made it aware to us so you're saying to us see not don't don't worry about that enjoy yourself you only live once yolo <laughs> and to the prophets prophesy not don't don't foretell us of the future that's that's that being nice not to know prophesy not unto us right things like eating pork is a wrong thing i just see a video on world star hip-hop you had some guys some vigilantes in peru Asher, they're whips and they're fucking whipping up the prostitutes in a club and they're whipping the guys defending the prostitutes as well. That's that's judgment right there. That's right things. Even though they're they're wicked themselves, but that's that's the type of things we're pushing for. Getting our people in order. Speak onto smooth things. Prophesy deceits. That nice shit. What does nice mean again? Not to know. Deceits, that's a deceit. If you if I'm deceiving you. That means I'm not making it known. That's that's what the point that I'm trying to establish right here, so you can understand. Being nice is is being misinformed. Yeah. So there there ain't no fucking niceness out here. Man ain't gonna be nice for no one. Verse eleven. Get ye out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the holy one of Israel calls the holy one of Israel to cease from before us. That's what you want, man. You don't want the righteousness to reign on the earth. Because you're fucking wicked. Now this is the next one I'm going to get. And then we're going to get into some other precepts. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet to the point. So we can, you know, establish it. This is um, Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib. Now you got a fucking, there's an animal called the ass. It's talking about a fucking donkey. Saying that the, the ass. A dumb fucking animal like an ass knows where his master's crib is. And an ox knows, if he knows who his owner is. But you fucking niggas out there, you don't even... F it says, but Israel does not con does not know, my people does not consi consider. Our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corrupted, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they have gone away backward. Cause you niggas are fucking wicked, man. You 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 don't know the Lord. Yeah. That's your fucking problem. Now I want to get this one, and we're gonna get into what the what what the prophets really should be prophesying. This is this is the last one. Cause this is what you niggas say out here, man. Spirit had it. I didn't even get the scriptures in the right order, but that's the, that's the way the Lord wants it to be. That's the right order for the Lord, not my. Yeah, you get me? You got say. I'll just run it and then I'll give you 
in a sec here. What's it on? Same thing. Same thing. Precepts, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. How many is it? One or two? Couple. Couple. Alright, cool. Yeah. Alright then. Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are dumb dogs. That's talking about your fucking pastors and all your fucking new, new age um, speakers for you. Like niggas like Jay Z talking about it's all right to be gay. Gays being like being black. It ain't no fucking thing, man. Yeah. That's wickedness, man. Being being a Jake with melanin is a fucking blessing, man. Being a homo is a degen that's a reprobate, degenerate thing to be, man. I, was, I just wanted to quickly say. I just wanted to quickly say this. It's funny. To, it's true, man. Because you know. The funny thing is, you always hear people talking about is Michael Jackson gay, right? And when when I thought about him and I see Michael Jackson come up, Michael Jackson ain't nothing but a fucking obvious she male man. When you look at him, he's a she male man. You know, he had Prince as a she male man. All those guys are clearly homosexuals, man. And people revered them in the earth, man. These people are too fucking nice. <laughs> That's right, they're too fucking nice. Alright, this is verse 10, Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs that cannot bark. Because they can't, they can't warn the people because they're fucking dumb. They're lame, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. And I say you take heed to them, so you do the same fucking thing. You're sleeping, sleep, having a sweet fucking sleep. When the shit's destroyed, like, it's like sleeping through a fire in your room, man. You all snuggling up closer to your pillow, feeling more comfy. When the whole house is burning down and you're up in your room. Flames are engulfed in your ceiling and your door. Verse 11. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. And you jakes like to get swindled, man. You bitches out here, you like a nigga that fucking lies to you and takes all your shit. And you niggas out here like to get hustled as well. You like to get fucking taken for a prick. So that's that's why you 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 take it from these dumb watchmen. And there's shepherds that cannot understand because they they're nice. They don't know, so they won't understand. They all look to their own way. Everyone for his gain from his quarter. Come ye, say they. I will fetch wine, and we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant yeah so that's what the, the them fake pastors are all about you want to knock out them precepts yeah yeah, yeah man the brother's right man um i'm just gonna read this scripture briefly it says uh first timothy salakian first timothy 6 and 20 it says oh timothy keep that which is committed to thy trust avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called so um i'm gonna click on a few words um profane coming from the word babylos okay meaning uh of of men ungodly um i'm gonna look into this word uh vain yeah go ahead even you can tell from the way that word babylos is, is it goes back to the hebrew babal meaning confusion con man and that's um that's what um the so-called white man um that's the so-called white man's mo is spreading confusion through his media and so forth and even going back to um um not esau um the serpent in Genesis the third chapter and the first verse it says um, now the serpent was more sub subtle than any beast of the field and basically he was just trying to get one over man you know he, he, basically he, he's, Esau's weapon is just being nice man he's the he's devil the but he, he just basically tries to be so nice if, if everyone can be nice then no one's gonna know anything you know so that's and 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 the and the so-called black woman, which is Eve, right? Um, they they're just all about pretending to be nice, man. And they they that that, hey, man. If Jake's gonna be too nice to that's that's you can't be too nice to everybody, man. Because if you're too nice, then you can't be in this truth, man. Because when that when that rape thing come up, man. 
people were getting all all over the place and ahead of themselves. And that you know why? Because they're too nice, and being nice is a stumbling block. And I'm, if you want to say, yeah, go ahead. And that's that's why you fucking niggas don't understand. We, yo, it's saying the time of Ecclesiastes three and eight, a time of love, and a time of hate. We ain't in no time of love. We ain't been in the time of love as long as man have been over in the states, America, great Babylon the Great. You ain't been no love when you come on. Um, what's that shit, man? The wind rush from the Caribbean, or you niggas come from Africa and you're fucking in the sixties and shit. You ain't been nice. You been trodden down. So look, understand, yeah, that that niceness is some foolishness, man. Mm-hmm. You being nice. Let's see where that gets you when martial law goes down, yeah. Okay, um, right, we looked up, let's look up that word, vain Babylons, um, it says, Kenoth Onia, if I said that correctly, it says, uh, empty discussion, discussion of vain and useless matters, so, um, that's, that's what it is, man, empty discussion. So whenever you whenever you see people that you know in the world, man, all they want to do is have an empty discussion. That's why um, when we be reading out the scriptures like what color Yahweh Shai is, okay, people always want to say, ah, uh, why does it matter? Don't God love everybody? That's because you you you've been indoctrinated with that niceness that you're not you, you you're not to know, and that's the truth, man. The Most High gave you niceness because you're not to receive it, man. And if you don't, if you don't stop being nice, man, you ain't gonna receive this word. The scriptures say the Lord was an austere man. Okay. Post that though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. Okay. The men of the Lord ain't no punks, man. Uh, yeah. Um, bear with me one second. Uh. So, we'll click on the word science. Um, it says moral wisdom, such a is seen in right living. Um, and that's it on that man. So, you're supposed to be um, of wisdom and of right living, and you ain't gonna find out the right way of being nice to everybody, man. Cause you're gonna accept, like the brother was saying about those pastors. You even had um, a pastor, um, well I think in Birmingham or in the UK somewhere, um, he was letting in um, Muslims in, in his church and all that man. Because they in, in Christianity they embrace all religions and all, all um, everybody, anyone can join. And that's what religion's about man, being nice. That's, that's rightly said. No, it ain't in all no, no scriptures. It tells you in the law that if, if, you, if your family mother, even if your mother comes to you, and bring some new God. You meant to slay her in the streets, man. Make her an example. That's that's the word right there. That's how brutal it, it, it comes. So, man, ain't about being nice to everyone. All right. So we're gonna I'm gonna whip this off now. Round it up with the true, the true way how the prophet should be. Not being nice, like Fabulous says. You know, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, Okay, let's get um, let's go, let's go. This is, I'm gonna round it up now. Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. Okay, Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. The prophets that have been before me, and before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Prophets prophesied against the kingdoms, great kingdoms of war. What's this kingdom? It's a great kingdom of war plain simple right there man next scripture this is um ezekiel i'm gonna get some examples as well to show you what the because you know you might have some people say yeah that's that's the old testament okay we're gonna show you examples in the new testament very soon soon the acts of the apostles we're gonna prove that to you all right so this is ezekiel 2 and 3 to 7 yeah Ezekiel 2 verse 3 And he said unto me Son of man I send thee to the children of Israel To a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me 
they and their fathers have trans transgressed against me even unto this very day yeah you niggas don't listen for they are imp impudent children and stiff hearted I do send thee unto them and I shall say unto them thus saith the Lord power and they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear for they are rebellious house you shall know yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them they're gonna know and understand that and now son of man be not afraid of them neither be afraid of their words though briars and fawns be with thee and thou doest dwell among scorpions be not afraid of their words nor dismayed at their looks thou though they be a rebellious house now you gotta understand saying if the lord's saying be not dismayed at their looks that means we're gonna rouse up some spirits they're, they're gonna get pissed off because you're gonna tell them look you're gonna eat. You can't be doing that. We ain't tell niggas you can't do something. They're emotional. They're raised by their mums. They've got the spirit of their, a woman on them. So they start getting emotional. Then they want to do something to you. And that's in the Bible. We're going to show you that as well, man. Yeah. Matter of fact, that's the point on that. So let's go to these. Let's go to Acts. Okay, we're going to steamroll through these. This is Acts 17. If you if you get anything, blood, yeah, just yeah, throw it, yeah. man fucking declared Mark Duggan just seeing on the news now they said that fucking Mark Duggan that caused the, the London riots in summer of 2011 the best time of the fucking year I can remember this kingdom because there's riots and everything lawlessness they're saying that he was lawfully killed and they admit he had no gun tell me how that works man a man with no gun shot dead Esau's a fucking devil. Right, this is Acts 17, uh, 1 to 13, yeah? Now, they had passed through um, Amphipolis and Apollonia and came to Thessalonica. There was a synagogue of the Jews, and Paul and his manor was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned with them out of the scriptures, opening and legend that Yahweh must be must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead that his Yahweh Shai whom I preach unto you is Yahweh Shai that Yahweh Shai preaching you is the anointed and some of them believed and consorted with Paul and Silas and the devout Greeks a great and of the devout Greeks a great multitude and of the chief women not a few but the Jews you wicked niggers which believe not move with envy took on to them certain lewd fellows of base assault fucking degenerates and gathered a company and set all the city an uproar and assaulted the house of Jason and sought to bring them out of the people and when they found them not they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city crying these that have turned to the, the whole the, turned the world upside down are come hither also because basically what the Lord, what they were doing is they were basically saying everything you do is upside down. So they were saying, look, they, they weren't having none of it. These niggas, they were trying to get man locked up, got into fucking feds, um, the police back then. And saying, look, they're, they're trying to go up against your law. Like throw them in, 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 in bin, in prison. No. Okay whom Jason have received verse 7 whom Jason had received and these all do contrary to the decrees of Caesar and it even goes back to um, I can't remember in John when they said that Caesar's their God you know that I can't remember it properly it was, Lord willing it will come up on the, on the post production ok decrees of Caesar saying that there is another king one Yahweh Shai and they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things and when they had taken security of Jason and of the other they let them go and the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night on Tiberia where coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews these were more noble than those of Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so they were diligent therefore many of them believed also honorable women which were Greeks and men 
And you know there ain't no heathens because there ain't no honorable heathens. They have to be Jakes. Hellenistus and Helene. Helen. Helen. You should look up the, 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 the definitions for yourself and you understand. And of, men, and of men, not a few. But when the Jews of Thessalonica had knowledge that the word of God was preached to Paul at Berea, they came thither also and stirred up the people. So when the prophets come up, they stirred up the people. The people were in uproar. Yeah. So now I'm going to jump to um, verse, uh, let's go, 21. I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. 17. Uh, this is uh, Acts 21, 17. You know what I'm going to do? Okay, yeah, I'll read these two and then we'll wrap it up. 2117 to 36. Alright. Uh, and when we were come to Jerusalem, the brethren received us gladly. And the day following, Paul went in with us unto James, and all the elders were present. And he had saluted them and declared particularly uh, what among the Gentiles' ministry. Okay, wait, hold on. Verse 26, then Paul took the men and the next day purifying himself um, with them entered into the temple signifying the accomplishment of the days of purification. That's after the Nazarite vow um, until that an offering should be offered for every one of them. And when the seven days were almost ended, the Jews which were of Asia, when they saw him in the temple, stirred up all the people and laid hands on him. Why is that? Crying out, men of Israel, help this is the man that teacheth all men everywhere against the people and the law. That's because according, you know, the way we preach the Bible is not right according to them. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why they did that to, to Paul. Because they were they, they were dealing with some, that basically they're still under the, 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 the covenant that Moses gave them in um, Exodus 24, I believe it is. They didn't know about Yahweh Shai. They didn't want to accept him. Yeah? Now, and father brought Greeks also into the temple and have polluted this holy place. For they had seen before him in the city Trump from and Ephesian, whom they supposed that Paul had brought into the temple. And all the city was moved and the people ran together. They took Paul and drew him out of the temple. And forthwith the doors were shut. And as they went about to kill him, tidings came to the, unto the chief of the captain of the band that all Jerusalem was in an uproar all the, they wanted to kill him the whole city was in uproar the whole of Jerusalem was in uproar over what he was prophesying who immediately took soldiers and centurions and ran down onto them and when they saw the chief captain and the shoulders the soldiers who are the police the modern day police they left beaten they left beaten of Paul then the chief captain um, came there and took him and commanded him to be bound with chains and demanded who he was and what he had done so he was put into chains bind into chains and took away into prison that's so what happens to us when we go out on there the elders have been dealing with it for the longest i was just, uh, I was just reading the scripture on it, um how about paul when he just got, um he got stoned and he went and then came back um uh, confirming the souls of of the elect you know um saying um through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom of god kingdom of heaven you know that's right man so that that just shows you the cat that and that's paul that's paul right there who had how much i deal with him directly man paul why persecute us down me you know what i mean so he was doing he was all in the spirit know what I mean okay this is Acts 19 24 to 41 okay for a certain man named Demetrius a silversmith made silver shrines from Diana 
brought no small gain unto craftsmen, who he called together with the workmen of like occupation and said, Sirs, you know that this craft we have our wealth means that was their income. Moreover, you see and hear that not only alone at Ephesus, but also throughout all Asia, this pool have persuaded and turned away much people, saying that they be no gods which made with hands. Because, yo, that's like us going out there and cursing out these Muslims, saying that Kabbalah stone, that Kaaba stone is, is some bullshit. It's an idol. They're all digging. Really, what it was, we're, cut, we're cutting into their paycheck. Because a lot of them fucking Arabs don't believe that shit, man. Dirty camel jockeys, fucking sand niggas. So that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worshipeth. So they were gonna lose out on a lot of money. And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath, and cried out, saying, "Great is Diana of, of the Ephesians." When they heard the fact that they're gonna lose out of money, they said, "Great is Diana." Of F. They didn't. They didn't hear. You know what I mean? It's the money. It wasn't necessarily the fact that he he slandered who their power was, and the whole city was filled with confusion. And having caught Gaius, Gaius, and Aristarchus, men of Macedonia, Paul's companions in travail, they rushed with one accord into the theatre. And when Paul would have entered into the unto the people, the disciples suffered him not. And certain of the chief of Asia, which were his friends, sent him and desiring him that he would not adventure himself into the field they'll say look don't go in there man <laughs> it's a peak situation for you if you go in there Huck. some some therefore cried one thing and some another for the assembly was confused and more part knew not wherefore they were come together so like, like that was mass confusion they didn't even know why they were there they were just in there writing that's the type of effect that the Lord's words has on these, these people that are lost that can't f actually see what the word's saying. Yeah, I've got this for you as well. Um, right. Right. Let, me, let me finish. Yeah. Alright, okay, bye um, Bear with me one second. This is Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Um, I'll start from 8. Uh, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying one and lying wonders um, I'll read on and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved so that's it man so if you if you people can't um, get it in your head that um, scriptures say and um, blessed is he that endureth you know which means to be made hard man the reason why you're being made hard is because you're gonna get backlashes off of you not accepting all the bullshit that you're fed you know um, and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So, so there you go, man. People, people, people. Who the words not for are the people that are all nicey nicey. And before, hey, man. Before I come into the truth, man, I was Mr. Nice Guy, man. A lot of people were, you know. Not not every brother, man. But you know, people are nice because they just join in, man. And this and uh, right, and that's the spirit of the world. That's why the scriptures say, um, uh, follow not a multitude to do evil, man. And Hey man, as soon as you come to this truth, people don't like you anymore, man. You ain't nice anymore. But then you realize those people are lost, man, with strong delusion. All right, let me finish on this point then. All right, so we're on verse, uh, verse thirty-three, and they drew Alexander out of the multitude. The Jews putting him forward, and Alexander beckoned with one hand, and would have made his defense unto the people. But when they that they knew that he was a Jew, all with one voice, about the space of two hours, cried out, "Great is Diana of Ephesians!" So they cried out for two hours. And when the town clerk um, had appeased the people, he said, "Ye men of Ephesus, 
what man is there that that knoweth not how the city of Ephesians is a worshipper of the great goddess Diana and of the image who fell down from Jupiter seeing then that these things cannot be spoken against you ought to be quiet and do nothing rashly um, for ye have brought hither these things these men which are neither robbers and chart of churches not yet blasphemers of your goddess wherefore if Demetrius and the craftsmen which are with him have a matter against any man the law is open and there are deputies let them implead uh, one another but if you inquire anything of concern in other matters it shall be determined in a lawful assembly for we are in danger to be called in question for the days of uproar there being no cause whereby we may give an account of this concourse and when he had thus spoken he did miss the assembly so that that got quelled right there but you can see how, how hot and bothered these people got but this really goes to this all that i read goes to this this is the reason why i read it now this is um act 751 ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears ye do always resist the holy spirit as your fathers did so do ye which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted because you niggas out there We've been in situations where niggas are fucking literally gone to the fucking police saying arrest them put them in prison bringing up all kinds of fucking heinous things upon brothers no remember that was a you know man had to spend time in the cell for no reason and they have slain them which showed before well for the for the for the word and you know the most high one is in there um, this is a quick scripture on um, guys that be talking shit about brothers, you know, teaching lies and saying lies about us, man. Um, Second Corinthians, uh, one verse twelve, for our rejoicing is this, the testimony of our conscience that in simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshly wisdom, but that by the grace of God we have had our conversation in the world and more abundantly to you would so brothers are going to be taking certain things and we ain't worried about what happens man because at the end of the day man it, it's our conscience we've got to be worried about man we ain't, we ain't we ain't concerned about how you view us we've got to be what, looking at what how to look what the lord's thinking about us man like we get xed out out here man um I got one more scripture and I'm I should be called um second Corinthians four and four in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds which the God of this world is Satan right in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai who is the image of God should shine unto them. Cuts, cuts, cuts. All right. Verse thirty two which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted and have slain them which show before the coming of the just one of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it the Lord chose you and you ain't kept his law man you fucking devils man that's why you niggas you two thirds are gonna die verse 34 when they heard these things they were cut to the heart that's what happens when we speak you get cut to the heart man yeah. That's really what happens, man. You get cut to the fucking heart. And you know why they get cut, man? Because at the end of the day, like I was just reading, man, you got some people that know 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 what you're saying is the truth, man, but then they're going to teach lies. But then, hey, man, that's on your conscience, not mine, man. We're doing what we're supposed to do. Okay. And they gnashed, their te gnashed on him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, looked up steadfastly into heaven. I saw the glory of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai standing on the right hand of Yahweh and said behold I see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of Yahweh then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him and a witness laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul you got you got shown a light by Yahweh Shai and they stoned Stephen 
calling upon Yahweh and saying, Lord Yahweh Shai, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge, for that was for Paul's sake. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. He gave up the ghost, man. So that's what this word is about. Us, us, us not being nice, that's not in a word, man. Like I said, the main point in this lesson, the word nice means not to know. So when you're being nice, anytime you say you should be nice, you're saying you should not know. That's what you're really saying. That's that's the whole point in this, this, this lesson. All the scriptures given were examples of what the, the, the spirit of the Lord yeah and why you people when we're not nice how you react to us and and it's all scriptural there's nothing wrong we we accept that we don't have a problem with it it was prophesied for this to happen so with that you got a little point so yeah man if you want to understand the truth and even in general general sense man you want to find out the truth you know someone goes to court man and you you get a lawyer right and a lawyer questions the um I can't, I can't remember the legal the terms the yeah the defendant they they put some um things against them they'll just say certain things to them which will make them angry but then they, why because they need to find out the truth so they have to up kind of like upset you first you know contest you contend with you to find out whether you're telling the truth or not man you know that's why when a brother might get on you, you know, you, he might be bringing up something that you don't, you can't, you always feel like, oh, I can't be bothered for this right now, man. But you know what, man? That's how you, that's how you t make yourself a better man, man. And it don't mean being nice. Oh, yeah, man. Well, I'm just going to have a quick talk to you, man. You want the truth, man. You're going to have to just, like, suck it up, man. And just, you're going to have to have people disliking you, man. End of. Alright man, so with that we're gonna say all praises to Yahweh Bar Sham Shai. Great love unto the powers man. Um double honors to the elders of GMS that, that rule with great greatness man. The elders that show us the light through Yahweh through the power of Yahweh Bar Sham Shai. and shalom to you brothers out there of the elect, not you fucking slackers niggas, you real brothers, the Akhya. So, shalom for me, Pasha Allah. Shalom for me, Amar Kwam. Shalom.